a mysterious and simultaneously terrible story that happened in America in 1999. Emily was sitting at her computer. It was almost midnight and the lights around the house had gone out. She was in a room all by herself, she was bored, so she decided to look for company in one of the chat rooms on the internet. There weren't many people to talk to. The browser was suddenly turned off. What the? She tried to open it again. There was no one in the chat or so Emily thought. At some point, she received a private message from Johnny. Hi. I'm John. I am 16 years old and live in Chicago. Write me something about yourself. The girl was genuinely happy that a guy her age wrote to her and besides, she lived in the same city as him. Emily didn't want to admit it to herself, but she'd always dreamed of love, like in the movies, a guy texting a girl in a chat room, then they set up a meeting and stay with each other forever. This is ridiculous, she always said when she thought about it. Amy was so lost in her own dream world that she completely forgot about the message she had just received from Johnny, I am fond of sports and cars. I like to listen to rock. Please write me something about yourself. She started replying to John's text, but then another message came from Michael, see also, a scary story that The Undertaker shared. Hi. My name is Michael. I am 14 years old and live in Dallas. Write me something about yourself. Ah. Uh, Dallas, she said. Emily didn't even realize that she was constantly thinking about meeting someone with whom she might have some kind of relationship. She closed the conversation window with Michael and concentrated on texting Johnny, who had sent her another message. Johnny, I also like long walks in the park. I'm very afraid of the dark, and I'm afraid to stay home alone. Please write me something about yourself. Strange boy, she thought, but decided to answer. Emily, hi, John. I'm sorry I took so long to answer. I am Emily, 16 years old and live in Chicago. I'm interested in fashion. Like you, I like to listen to rock and walk in the park. At that moment her computer shut down and there was a short circuit. After restarting it, a column of nicknames from the chat appeared on the screen. Sarah, Johnny, Emma, Michael, after a few seconds the column of names disappeared and in its place appeared an inscription, Hi, Emily. Write us something about yourself. Then the computer went dark again, and the room was completely dark. Emily started to turn on the light, then hurried to the wall to find the switch. But the light didn't come on. Damn it! No, she said to herself, a little nervously. Write us something about yourself, she suddenly heard a whisper. Who said that? Emily cried out in fright and surprise. See also, a mystical case from our reader. In response, she heard several voices whisper the phrase. At that moment, she felt several pairs of icy hands touch her face and neck. Now she felt nothing but cold, I couldn't hear anything but the phrase, write us something about yourself. In the morning, the parents found the body of their beloved daughter on the floor in the room. Her hand was still on the wall, as if reaching for the light switch. When the police arrived, they found a crumpled piece of paper in the girl's mouth. There were only a few words on it, which could not help them in any way, hi. I am Emily, 16 years old and live in Chicago. Write me something about yourself. The police were able to determine only one thing. Over the past few years, teenagers were found in their rooms. The only thing that connected them was a piece of paper found in the throat. 